Let's talk about finite element analysis and the limitations of how to communicate your simulation data to a team. A lot of time, we simplify our simulation model to solve only the critical components and not the entire assembly to save time and computer resources. However, displaying the simulation results of these parts in isolation will not show their stress and deformation in the context of the rest of the assembly. As a consequence, your design team does not take into consideration the constraints of these critical parts when they operate in the field and your product is not optimized. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features of SOLIDWORKS 2017, which solves this li limitation, how you can display simulation results in SOLIDWORKS 3D to make better design decisions. In SOLIDWORKS simulation, Set up your model as usual. In this example, we are showing a nozzle assembly with a latch mechanism. Select those components you want to exclude from the analysis to reduce the number of parts to mesh and solve. Once the nonlinear model is solved, set the deformed shape to the scale you want to display in simulation and in SOLIDWORKS. In SOLIDWORKS 3D with the full assembly, Go to View Settings and simply toggle on Simulation Display. You can select to display the result type such as Total Deformation, Stress or Strain from a list of analysis you previously ran. You can up to turn on or off Display Deformed Results, Show Mesh, Show Legend. In this example, we are displaying the deformation in the X direction of a latch in relation to the rest of the assembly. By using simulation display, we can see that the latch deflects 1.7 mm toward the housing. For the design team, this simulation flags a question about whether or not the latch operates within the tolerances of the housing and the other components of the assembly. This additional information helps the design team avoid interference between components and will likely lead to a better product design. Did you see how easy it was to display the simulation results of these components and determine whether or not they operate within the tolerances of the other parts of the assembly? Did turning on simulation display require more time? No. Did it require more effort? No. Does it give you more and better information to design your assembly? Yes. Many times, knowing the features available to you is the difference between being more productive and or more expert at what you're doing. Check out the SOLIDWORKS launch website for more information or find your local reseller rollout event.